Welcome to Pio Pico RV Park, a member of the Thousand Trails. There's a lot of videos out there reviewing the Thousand Trails membership system, and maybe one day we'll do our own. But for now, just know we're definitely taking full advantage. Pio Pico has about 500 RV spots. The area closest to the entrance has better Wi-Fi, but is a bit more cramped in the spaces all the way in the back of the park, which shares a gated entrance to some public preserve that's used regularly by the Border Patrol. For those of you just joining us, we've been slowly making our way down the California coast from Santa Barbara, and this is as far south as we can get without running into Mexico, which is only six miles away from where we're parked. We'll be here for a little while to spend Christmas and New Year's, and we'll be joined by some family before we make the trip all the way back east to Florida. This is an awesome area of the country, guys. Can't wait to show you. I'm John. And this is Danny. And this is our home, Taterbug. Living full-time on our renovated RV has taken us to some wild places. Ever since the birth of our son, Abraham, we just can't seem to sit still. So subscribe and follow along to watch it all go down as we move around from town to town. So today we are going up to right around the corner. We're staying at Pio Pico uh, Campground, Thousand Trails. Um, right above it is BLM land that we've seen like a bunch of Jeeps go up to go off-roading and stuff. Also the main road for border control here. Um, anyways, we were up there the other day and there's a bunch of sage. And since things are a little tight this year for Christmas, we decided to pick our own sage and try making our own smudge sticks. So, let go. Days ago, brought his Jeep over here and said he saw a car that was flipped over. Danny's totally taking control of this BLM road. We've ran into a couple Border Patrol cars and you have to kind of scoot over because the road's narrow. And she just, you know, she waves them on, she lets them know. Well, I'm on the outside and, you know, I'm the one that's gonna fall off. So, you know, you can skate your ass on over. But look at all the sage we got, holy smokes. <laughs> A little rough to have the baby carriage on. Thrash my goggles on the way down. <laughs> We've been, uh, Your $10 glasses. I know, but we really like those. We used them almost every time we drove. One fun fact about Lake Ote that we looked up was that they found a crashed Navy pilot plane from World War II in here, and they erected it in 2010, and that's about the only remarkable thing about this lake, other than the fact that it supplies water to a population in a Mediterranean climate that is too populated to... I was on a roll there too. 
try again. That was a mouthful. <laughs> awesome, awesome first day on our bikes. Lake Ote is A-OK. -okay. Uh, we got some nachos going on inside Tater. We got my brother coming into town from Maryland with his girlfriend, Olivia. All right, we're here at the San Diego airport. Picking up my brother and his lady, Olivia. Super stoked to have these guys around. Uh, this is my first time down in this part of San Diego, the business district. Really pretty for a business district. Not mad at it at all. Hey. I got it, I got it, I got it. How was the flight? Oh, we saw the Grand Canyon, desert. You flew over the Grand Canyon? I picked up my brother from the airport. He's now behind me talking to a dude named Kevin who's gonna let him rent his motorcycle for the time that he's here. Beats having an Uber. We're gonna pick up some groceries and we're gonna head back to the RV park and camp out and just chill. Then hold that to start. Don't you? Hell of a first night with uh, Joel and his lady Olivia. They are staying here at the RV park with us in this little cottage that we just had some steak and potatoes at. We didn't film anything of it because, you know, family time. Uh, Abe did hurt himself a little bit and we had to call the night early. He like fell weird and he was holding his arm. So we're just putting him down now. Seems to hurt to the touch. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little Christmas Eve hospital run today. Just want to make sure it's not broken. Yeah, because all of his joints are moving around fine. It's, it's more like to the touch. Yeah, right in the forearm area. He's not using it. All right, so we're out of the hospital. Um, Abe is fine. Um, he did have a, um, it's called a nursemaid's elbow. I never learned about this in nursing school, so I was like really dumbfounded when when he, he was talking to me about it. You have three bones in your elbow area. A nursemaid's elbow happens when two of those bones separate from the third, and it causes uh, your ligament in that area to be pinched. Pretty much just moved his arm in this motion all the way up, and then you heard a click right there at his elbow. And then that's what made Abe start screaming and crying um, when it got popped back into place. But uh, five minutes later, he was completely fine. He was using his arm again. He was pushing himself off of me and he was, he was ready to roll. Like she likes to be thrown around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. That's what she wants. She likes to be thrown around a little bit. <laughs> Joel's line, we got ribs and chicken on. Mm, I love chicken oh. too. Oh, Kevin, the guy who rented you the motorcycle? Well, I, look, I looked at his email address, and I recall when I first rented it, it's Black Rock Shooter 115. Shooter. Oh my God, so the guy who rented Joel the motor, or rented out the motorcycle to Joel, told me all about lenses and like what the next level is for us in our lens game. And he was super, uh, let's just say interesting. And he ended up telling me what he does is he shoots adult films. Uh, mostly, Oreos. yeah, mostly uh, cosplay. So he showed me like a little bit of like his work, which was, you know, pretty well done. It definitely wasn't, you know, tacky, but. You watched porn and didn't tell me? <laughs>
We're at the Granite Lion Vineyard here in Honolulu, California. Joel's gonna run in and get a couple bottles. That's my brother on the cool motorcycle. That's Olivia, that's his girlfriend. <laughs> they just got six bottles. Chili. Little boy got all wet in the river. Got to take him home to dry up. Did you guys have a good time in the winery? Yeah. Had a great time at this winery. Would highly recommend it. Granite Line Cellars out here in Hamul, California, right outside of San Diego. Knows what they're doing. Joan Olivia's company was greatly welcomed as we spent most of our time alone with Abe since leaving Maryland for California back in October. The next day we found ourselves heading into the city. First stop we made was Balboa Park, which is a large plot of greenery smack dab in the middle of the city. Let us dance away. I can't let you go until the end of day. Just letting you know. Full of museums, memorials, as well as San Diego Zoo, this 1,200-acre public park is surrounded by restaurants and is considered the cultural hub of the city. We met up with some more friends from D.C. later that day, Kyle and Devin. They took us up to the top of Mount Helix, which is an overlook known for a killer sunset. Tater here in Pio Pico and we're heading in town down to the coast to our Airbnb. I'm really excited to hang out with a lot of friends, uh, Kevin, Brooke. What's up, dude? I'll do one more nice shirt. You know, all age clothes for New Year's. Here. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, we're getting infested. Okay. Got him. Look at that. Babe, right in front of the camera. So this is our friend from the Northwestern uh, Tugboat Affiliation. Good morning. We're going to head to the beach for some coffee, which is the beach is right there where that sign is. That's their boardwalk. We're out here at Mission Beach, watching everyone live the San Diego dream. We got surfers in wetsuits, doing arm circles, warming up. We got beach volleyball competition. We're out here having our coffee. We got here yesterday. Boys are jumping in. It's freezing cold. We are gonna go walk down the boardwalk uh, here in Mission Beach. We're gonna go find some beach toys.
Spending New Year's together is a bit of a tradition for all of us, and it's always pretty much done the same way. Cooking a bunch of meat somewhere beautiful with a few bottles of tequila. Okay, we got a skirt steak right here in the middle, this long guy. Uh-huh. Then we got a New York strip. Okay. And then ribeye. This is Brooke Evans, and you're watching The Wild Thorn Bailey. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Next week, we're heading back east across the country to Florida. Stay wild. Oh, that was actually pretty smooth. <laughs> that was pretty smooth. Yo, throw me one, bub. And I was looking over and watched the whole thing. And you know what happened? Friendship. Friendship happened. Hey guys, it's Brooke Evans, and you're watching the ball Bailey. Two kids with BB guns, and then a cop shows up and he's like, no, 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 no.